Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. There are several report wizards which you can run to quickly and easily create various types of reports in Crystal Reports. This can be a way to quickly create a report which you would otherwise have to create by hand. You can also edit and modify the reports after you have created them if needed. This is simply another way of beginning the report creation process. However, these are not tools for the novice user who has no concept of data selection, sorting, filtering, or grouping to use. These wizards simply expedite the basic report creation process. In Crystal Reports 11, you can start one of the four report wizards by simply clicking on the hyperlinked name of the desired report wizard that appears in the New Reports section of the Start page. You can also start a report wizard by selecting File from the menu bar, rolling down to the New command, and then choosing the name of the desired report wizard from the side menu of choices that appears. You can select either the Standard Report, Crosstab Report, Mailing Label Report, or OLAP Cube Report choice to create a report using a wizard of the selected type. In Crystal Reports 10, you can create a new report from a wizard by simply choosing File from the menu bar and then choosing the New command, or by simply clicking the New button in the Standard Toolbar to launch the Crystal Reports Gallery dialog box. In the Create a New Crystal Report Document section, select the Using the Report Wizard option. That then allows you to select the type of report which you will create by choosing the desired type of wizard to use from the Choose a Wizard list. You can select either the Standard, Crosstab, Mail Label, or OLAP wizard to create a report of the selected type. Once you have selected the type of report to create, click OK to continue. Each wizard will lead you through a screen-by-screen -screen process in which you answer questions and select report options. The screens which follow next will vary depending upon which wizard you selected. We will examine the most common options which you can set by selecting the standard choice. The first screen which you will view after selecting the standard choice is the data screen within the standard report creation wizard dialog box. This is the same as the database expert dialog box. Any database connections you have created and stored to the Favorites folder in the Database Expert screen are available in this window. Select or set the desired data connection from the Available Data Sources window, and then move the desired data tables into the selected tables pane at the right side of this dialog box. When you are ready to continue, click the Next button to continue. If you added multiple tables in the last screen, you will next view the link screen. Here you review the tables which you have added to the report, and you can edit the links if needed. This is the same as the Links tab in the Database Expert dialog box. Make any changes you need here, and click the Next button to continue. In the Fields screen, you select the fields that you want to add to the report from the fields shown in the Available Fields list at the left side of the dialog box. Click on the name of the field that you want to add to the report, and then click the right pointing arrow button to add the selected field to the Fields to Display list at the right side of the dialog box. If needed, you can click on the name of a selected field in the Fields to Display list and click the up and down arrows to change the placement of the field within the field list. The order of the fields from top to bottom is the order that they will be displayed from left to right in the report. When you've added the desired fields, click the Next button to continue. The next screen is the Grouping screen, where you can select a field by which to create data groupings within the report from the available fields list at the left side of the dialog box. You can then click the right pointing arrow button to move the selected field to the Group By list at the right side of the screen. You can then choose how to sort the chosen field groupings by selecting the desired sorting option from the drop-down at the bottom of the Group By list. If you want to create additional groupings within the primary grouping, you can continue to add additional fields from the available fields list into the Group By list, where you can then sort them by their values within the main grouping. 
If needed, you can also select one of the groups and then click the up and down arrows to reorganize the order of the group shown. When you've added the necessary fields by which to create the data groupings within your report, click the Next button to continue. If you elected to create data groupings in the report, then after clicking the Next button to continue, you will be presented with a Summaries screen. Once again, select the name of the field that you want to calculate and summarize for each unique value within the grouping, and then click the right pointing arrow button to move the selected field into the Summarized Fields list at the right side of the screen. You can choose which summary calculation to perform on the selected field from the drop-down list at the bottom of the summarized fields list. If needed, you can choose a summary field value and also click the up and down arrows in the summarized fields list to move the field up or down within the list of summaries. The order of fields displayed here from top to bottom indicates the order that the fields will appear from left to right in the report. When you've set any options you would like, just click the Next button to continue. If you added summaries for the groups in your report, then the next screen will be the Group Sorting screen. Here you can sort the records by the summarized field values for each grouping. You can elect None to skip group ordering, or you can select Top 5 Groups or Bottom 5 Groups based on the values displayed in the selected Summary value field. When you have set any options that you want to apply, just click the Next button to continue. The next screen is the Chart screen. You can select a type of chart which you would like to see in the report by choosing a selected chart type from the option buttons available at the top of the screen. If you don't want a chart, then select the No Chart option button. If you do select a chart type, then type the title of the chart into the Chart Title text box. You can then use the On Change Of drop-down to select the field whose changing value establishes the series in your chart. And use the Show Summary drop-down to choose the field whose values you wish to chart for each changing value in the field you selected in the On Change Of drop-down. And when you are ready to continue, just click the Next button. In the Record Selection screen, you select a field or fields by which you want to filter the records in the selected tables. Choose the field by which you would like to filter the data from the available fields list and click the right pointing arrow button to move it into the filter fields list. You can then select the field by which you wish to filter from the list at the right side of the dialog box and use the drop down at the bottom of the filter fields list to select the desired comparison operator. Then use the drop down which appears below that one to select the desired comparison value from the drop down list. You can also type a value directly into the drop-down box instead. When you're ready, just click the Next button to continue. In the Template screen, you can select a report template to use as the basis for the current report from the listing in the Available Templates section. If you have a report which you would like to apply as a template, you can click the Browse button to select the report using the Open dialog box. If you don't want to apply a template, then you can simply choose the No Template option from the top of the Available Templates list. When you've made your choice, click Finish to create the report with the options which you have selected. Note that if you wanted to change any settings that you made in the previous screens of the Standard Report Creation Wizard, you can click the Back button to return to the desired screen and then make your changes. Then click the Next button until you've reached the end of the wizard, at which point you can then click the Finish button. If you simply wish to cancel the creation of the report, note that you can also click the Cancel button at any time during the Standard Report Creation Wizard to cancel the report generation. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.